Imagine a world where brain surgery in Africa was a distant dream, until one man, Latunde Odeku, pioneered neurosurgery across the continent, performing life-saving operations and co-discovering a yaitha, rare cranial condition now named after him. He was born in 1927 in Lagos, Nigeria, to a Yoruba family. Odeku studied at Howard University in Washington, D.C. He graduated summa cum laude in zoology as class valedictorian in 1950. Next, he earned his M.D. M.D. from Howard's College of Medicine in 1954. After a year as a medical officer at Lagos General Hospital, Odeku's return to the U.S. From 1956 to 1960, he trained under Dr. Edgar Kahn at the University of Michigan, dazzling his mentors to secure a neurosurgery residency. He didn't stop there. Odeku honed his skills in neuropathology at Walter Reed Medical Center and pediatric neurosurgery under Dr. Eugene Spitz in Philadelphia, the inventor of the Spitz-Holter valve for hydrocephalus. By 1961, he was an instructor at Howard, turning down many other prestigious U.S. faculty positions. In 1962, Odeku returned to Nigeria, not for fame or fortune, but to build. At the University of Ibadan, he became West Africa's first neurosurgeon, establishing the region's first neurosurgical unit. His hands, steady and skilled, brought hope to countless patients, performing complex brain surgeries where none had been done before. In 1971, alongside Dr. Adelola Adeloy, he identified a rare congenital dermoid cyst over the anterior fontanelle, primarily in African children. Named the Adeloye Odeku disease, this discovery cemented his scientific legacy, spotlighting a condition still studied today. Diabetes began to claim his health in 1962, and in 1974, he passed away at Hammersmith Hospital in London. Odeku inspired generations, including neurosurgeon Ben Carson, who saw Odeku's portrait at Michigan and felt the weight of his humanity. Today, the Ilatunda Odeku Medical Library at Ibadan stands as a monument to him.